to this week's video. We have a bundle of joy just delivered here at Mary Shortle and I couldn't wait to showcase them with you. These are the wonderful masterpiece works of Monica Peterlet and also Monica Levening. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This is the first one I've unpacked and this is Vicky. And she is a beautiful size toddler from this amazing artist, Monica Levenig. This is an 1800 piece worldwide edition. Now please bear in mind these are retired pieces and now extremely hard to source and also very, very collectible and desirable. These ones are in perfect condition with their original clothing and also their certificate. It will state on our website to if they are missing any of their original features. But look at this girl, she's absolutely brimming with joy and happiness. And that's what doll collecting is all about. We love the fact that when you become part of this exciting doll collecting world, you're able to purchase the most magnificent dolls just like this one here. She really does make you smile but just also the quality, the weight of these dolls. This one is actually a full vinyl doll articulated at the shoulder, the hips, and also the neck. So you can have lots and lots of fun with these. And if you're into dressing and styling your dolls too, then what better to have a doll this size to be able to buy the most beautiful outfits and also the footwear. Now these dolls actually have wigs. They're not rooted like the reborn babies and they are an idea that the wigs are so well created and so realistic that you can also give them a fine spritz of water and style them to your heart's content. They're made of the highest quality and they really are just the perfect toddler for your collection. But check out Vicky now. She really is an absolutely gorgeous happy toddler now let's check out her other friends in the collection that's just arrived and you will see the amazing happiness that these toddlers bring if you were to adopt one today Monica Paterlet, also an amazing, talented German artist that I just love meeting every year when I pop over to Germany. This one is Jolina and again, another 1800 piece edition, but isn't she gorgeous? This one is a little bit more traditional in style. She's dressed in the very Germanic clothing, which I really think suits this style of doll. And really there's a lot of thought also in the outfit as well as the sculpt. To produce a sculpt this size as a finished item, can you imagine the size of the original sculpt that is then cast into the mold to producing a vinyl doll like this? I couldn't imagine the weight of a mold that size and the perfection and detail that's gone into these sculpts is just something else. It really is. They're all brimming with just so much character and they really give you that feel good factor. If you were to have her sitting in your room in your collection, wouldn't that just be lovely? She'd certainly be a talking point in the house if your friends were popping around. Now this one is also a full vinyl doll but sometimes they have the softer limbs. So the limbs feel a little bit like a silicone sort of vinyl and they really are quite flexible. But the head itself and the main part of the body is a lot firmer vinyl, which gives it that strength to be able to position them and just sit them freely in a chair or wherever you love having your dolls on display. But I think Jolina is absolutely stunning. And I know she's a very, very hard doll to find. Now, bear in mind that these dolls are all retired additions and they are in extremely great condition. We're very careful where we source our past editions from and they all come in their original clothing or otherwise stated on the website with their certificates but Jolina is just so, so cute. And I know that the last two deliveries that we've had from these two artists, they've just got snapped up before I've even been able to showcase them with you, as I really love making these videos and showing you everything we're about here at Mary Shortle and the choice and the selection that we can offer you, whether it be to play or to collect. But Jolina is certainly one that I think is absolutely 
absolutely beautiful with her striking blonde hair and her big blue eyes too. Talking of happiness, look at this beauty. This is Babsy and she comes in a little bit smaller, probably around 24 inches, but also great for dressing and styling. Again, she's got that lovely, happy smile. But what really fascinates me about these dolls is not only the features and the sculpts and the way that they have so much character in their sculpt and also through their eyes. I love the way that their eyes just tell a million words. But the teeth on these dolls are just great. They're very, very natural. And the way that they're sculpted, it's always extremely difficult. And I remember many years ago when I actually went on a course with the amazing Hildegard Gunsel, also from Germany, and the way that she taught us on how to actually sculpt the mouth and also by creating the teeth it was nothing like i'd imagined in how to make it look so realistic but those few days i spent with hildegard oh gosh i think i learned more than the two years at art school that i learned ceramics but yeah this one babsy is absolutely beautiful and she has got this magnificent auburn very natural looking super super curly hair so you can have so much fun with her and also styling her so she is also available with us now i just hope that these will last until um, we get them on the website and they're not all going to be snapped up in store. So bear with us because if these ones do become adopted very quickly, we also have some more on the way. But they are absolutely lovely. Which one do you like so far? It's really hard choice, isn't it? When each one appeals to you in a very different way. But she looks slightly younger than the last two, but very appealing in her size too. Many collectors that I'm meeting recently are all so dedicated to, to their collections for up to the last 40 years and the one thing they say is oh my gosh i'm running out of room i just don't know where to put the next dolly and sometimes it's a little bit more challenging if you're housing larger dolls like this but they're certainly worth it and sometimes you just have to say budge up we've got another one arriving soon but babsy is certainly a very super cute one for your collection we also have some super cute ones here, which I'm now going to show you because it's not all about the sitting style of doll, although we do love that, but sometimes it's easier to house the standing dolls as they don't need as much floor space. So this little cheeky chap has also come to live with us here, and this is Philip. I think it's really nice if you have some of the traditional boy dollies also in your collection too. But isn't he lovely? He comes in this very dapper little sweater and his little jeans with his embroidered truck. And also some of the work or have their names actually printed or embroidered on their clothing. So this one is also from Monica Peterleg. And he is only a 500 piece edition worldwide. So he was sold out many, many moons ago. And again, it's quite difficult to find. But isn't he lovely? He's also got this very happy smiley face with his little teeth too. Now he is a freestanding dolly, which is very nice just to sneak into your collection. And he actually has a vinyl breastplate. So the head can be turned on the shoulder plate and then he has a soft part and then a lower vinyl limb and arm which is articulated through the shoulder plate so you can still have loads of fun if you love your dollies to hold toys and also be little features in your doll collection but he is also super cute and he's probably roughly again around 24 25 inches so not one of the larger pieces but very very cheeky introducing patty also from monica pate elect now with these two artists they also were quite renowned for producing dolls in porcelain and when i first opened this one i thought oh she's porcelain but no she's actually vinyl but a lot harder style vinyl so she's very very solid and quite firm also in this sweet sitting position she does have the bent limb so you wouldn't really be able to showcase her standing up 
in her lovely original dress with the sweet doves there. I love the face on this one. She's a little bit more, I don't think she's serious, but she's a little bit more quizzical looking, but also very, very serene. Now this is only a 750 piece edition worldwide. So this one would have sold out very, very quickly originally. But isn't she lovely? Look at the mouth and the features and also the profile is very, very sweet. I think looking at this one, she's probably looking around the age maybe three as where some of them look slightly older. But I don't think this one's quite at school yet. She's definitely just in preschool. Isn't she sweet? She has this very cute little sort of curly bob style hair, which is a very light brown auburn colour and it really suits her colour into. She's very beautifully painted. She has the applied eyelashes at the top and then the hand painted lashes at the bottom and I love the brows too. The painting on these is very very natural. Now her hand is in a position where she can just sort of sit freely and pop her hand out to the back while the other one is curved round so she could easily hold a sweet toy as well. But she also comes complete in this very adorable little outfit. So check out this cutie. This one is on our website now and she is Patty. Now look at Robbie, what attitude he has. He's smiling there through those beautiful big chocolate eyes. Aren't they just breathtaking? He's also very smart and trendy in his dungarees. He has Robbie embroidered on the front there and also this adorable little baseball cap. But under here, he has very natural curly hair and he's an absolute poppet. He's one of the larger pieces from the artist with just 1850 limited edition made worldwide. But he is so much fun. And I actually don't think it matters whether you're to dress him in these original clothes or if you're wanting to restyle him as a little boy or even a little girl. This face is very, very sweet and adorable and would certainly suit any colour of clothing. Absolutely gorgeous. Now this one also has the softer vinyl on the limbs and the harder vinyl again with the shoulder plate with the articulated arms. So you can just sit him down anywhere you want to and he will easily just stay as you position him. But oh gosh, I love him. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's definitely coming in around 34 inches. He's a lot bigger doll. So again, if you're loving the bigger toddlers, they really are so much fun to collect, but I absolutely love Robbie. He's definitely one of my favorites. I have actually had a few Robbies in the past and they always go to amazing homes. I just think he's very, very attractive. For the collectors and fans that are very familiar with this artist work, you know how famous they are for the larger standing children. Oh my gosh, isn't she gorgeous? This is Agneta and she is also from this great collection. She's a very heavy piece, but look at her. Isn't she beautiful? She is a full vinyl doll articulated again at the shoulder and the hips and the neck. And she is such a signature style of these great artists, complete in her original clothing. I would think she's probably standing well over 32 inches. She really is a great piece. And with the larger style dolls like this that are in the standing position, they're just great even if you're wanting to just position them at floor level. But you can have so much fun also with these character children but look how happy she is too the whole collection is just so so full of character they really are breathtaking dolls and it's very sad that these artists are no longer producing some of these amazing pieces 
from the great times of doll making. But check out all our beautiful masterpieces from these two fabulous artists at maryshortle.com. They really are super, super special. And if you're looking for something amazing for your collection, whether it be a reborn, a silicone baby, or just something a little bit unique, or maybe a one of a kind artist piece, then we have everything here available for you. We do our utmost in replenishing our website on a daily basis, but with so many dolls to share with you, sometimes it's a little bit hard to get everything online before it's snapped up in store. If you're thinking of visiting us here, then we really are worth that journey. We have something for everyone and probably have over 2000 products just here in our store alone. So you would not be disappointed. We're situated just behind the Minster and there is a car park directly opposite, which makes it ideal and easy for you to visit us. So thanks so much for watching this video. We absolutely love making them for you. And we hope that you're going to be looking now to more interest into these two amazing artists.